y'all. I had a different video in mind because there's something I want to can that I don't see many people doing, but it is really just too hot today. But I am going to go ahead and do this one um, because it's going to save me a lot of time and some people probably will find it ridiculous and that's okay. What am I canning? I am going to can iced tea. Well, the concentrate of it. I have people over several times a week and um, you know generally I forget to make it till right before they get here and then you're pouring the hot tea in with the cold water and it's melting the ice and it waters it down and it's just not the most pleasant thing so what this is going to do is I'm going to can enough per jar to do um, well if you want to do it in pint jars you'll have enough to do one gallon containers out of every jar I'm doing mine in half pints because I tend to make um, a two quart container so that's the way I'm gonna go so what I have going on my stove is six cups of water you want to bring that to a boil and you want ten family sized tea bags to go in there now I don't have ten family sized tea bags I have the single serving tea bags so it takes four single servings to make one family size so in this pan I am going to put in 40 tea bags single serving size and after the water boils of course and I'm going to let them steep for about 20 minutes okay y'all um, I should have said on the first part of this this is not a repeat not approved by the FDA so our water is boiling I'm just gonna turn it off and 40 tea bags use whatever kind of tea, tea excuse me I'm so sorry I didn't mean to jostle the camera use whatever kind of tea bags you would like herbal regular it, whatever your choice is if you have the family size you're only going to use 10 and this isn't for everybody and I understand that but I don't drink my tea with sugar and this is going to be with sugar and everybody else I know does so I am going to figure out a honey recipe and um, then I will probably try this with honey and see what happens okay so I'm going to let this steep about uh, 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll be back and put the lid on it when you when you steep it I'll be back okay y'all I'm back it's steeped All right, you take out the tea bags you're going to add um, uh, four to five cups of sugar I'm doing four I don't mind if they have the sugar but I'm not gonna overdose them on it um, I like this kind non GMO all that good stuff all these is a great place if you haven't checked them out so you put your sugar in at this point you add um, you can add some lemon juice if you want one to two tablespoons of lemon juice and you're going to turn the heat back on, bring it back to a boil, and let the sugar dissolve. And I've already put the, the uh, lemon in there. So I'm already ahead of that step. I have my jar sitting over here, waiting for this to go in. As soon as it's finished. And uh, then you're just going to water bath them for... 15 minutes okay y'all so I've put the lemon juice one to two tablespoons whatever you like in there and you can do four to five cups of sugar according to your taste I really don't do the uber sweet tea that's a Yankee thing y'all anyway so once you get all that in here you're gonna bring it back to a boil which it's at now and you want to go ahead and let this boil for one minute kind of like you're doing um, the jams jellies that kind of thing so I have my timer set my jars are ready to go my lids are ready to go water steaming in in the water bath over there um, ideally if you follow the recipe which was um, six cups of boiling water ten family sized tea bags one tablespoon of lemon four to five cups of sugar you're going to get four pints and a pint will work for a gallon you're simply gonna just pour it pour it in your pitcher fill it up with ice-cold water 
you're good to go. Everything's in there. But like I said, I'm going to do half pints because I make two quarts at a time. So, um, I am going to be trying this, I believe, with a, a lot of my um, herbal teas. I really want to just make a combo and um, I just need to figure out the honey. Our minute's up already. There we go. I, I just need to figure out the honey to, um, yeah, I'm not good with that yet. I haven't made those substitutions yet. Now let's see if I can do this without burning myself because if you see over here, I have my jars over here sitting on a plate because, man, if I could spill it on myself, it would happen. Uh, yeah, it, it is what it is. So, I'm going to just stick this in here. You want it to leave a half inch headspace on your jars. Well, I almost got it right. I'll turn this camera here in just a moment. Wait, well, what the hot stuff over here? Okay, hold on one second. How about that? I know I should just pour it in there. I get that, but... One of those klutzy kind of people. Yeah, I know I'm not the only one, but... Those kind of get to be a pain sometimes. Okay. Gonna have a mess to clean up. See if I can spill it. I I do it. Okay. Gonna pour that back in there. And what you're gonna do, of course, is wipe the rims of the jars. Make sure there's no sugar. You put a little vinegar on whatever you're wiping. Ah, oh, the outside of my jars are have got almost as much as the inside. Just gonna get my lids and rings on. Okay, so amongst my messiness, I got all the jar lids on and I wiped them off to get the excess tea off. And in they go. And like I said, you're gonna process these for 15 minutes. And I will be waiting for the popping noise when these are done. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of this in here, and I'll be back when these are done. Instant iced tea, canned iced tea, there you go.